everyone, it's Shelly with Shelly's Creative Crafts. Welcome back. So I just finished this journal and I uh, showed you the, the outside of it um, previously and it is kind of a, I'm not sure how to say it, a tool or too lay material. Um, and I actually just left it as is because I thought that the material was just so pretty. Um, it has so much detail on it and all the little ducks and that sort of thing. And I just thought it was really pretty, so I didn't want to embellish up the front. But of course, um, whomever gets the journal can certainly do that. Um, but I just left it, you know, plain because I thought that it, it has a lot of character kind of on its own. Um, so this is another one signature uh, journal and it will be listed here shortly. And just to give you a kind of a sideways view, it does have a real pretty, um, it's a cream colored um, satin ribbon um, as, the, as the closure. And then, um, pardon me. Um, and then I did do um, some embellished paper clips and tags and all sorts of things. <clears throat> Pardon me. So we'll just jump right on in. So the front um, has a pocket here. And then um, this is some ribbon that I found. And I backed it with some coffee dyed paper and made a tag out of it. And then um, the wrapping paper tag, of course. Uh, this one right here. I really like that. And then um, lots of coffee dyed paper and little embellishments with the butterflies and that sort of thing. So I tried to stick with kind of a navy or dark blue or royal blue theme here. And then this is just a little um, corner embellishment. Um, and then obviously the, the coffee dyed pages as well. Lots of room for writing. And then um, a sideways embellished paper clip. And I did this one in the kind of the black uh, damask and then, you know, just put some some fun little um, trinkets on there, and then um, did a real pretty tag kind of to match. So that goes there, and then it just has a real pretty navy colored bead on the side, and then just a, a little embellishment with a butterfly and some um, lace and trims. And then I had this um, scrapbooking paper that had the coins on it, so I thought that was really um, kind of befitting. And then um, just some navy, uh, real pretty navy uh, vintage lace that I have. And then I thought this was kind of quirky and fun. Um, it looks like little cats um, looking at a little chick laying out of an egg. And then this is actually a really old, um, I, you can tell you it's shiny because I had to decoupage it, um, but it's from an old, old, old Montgomery Ward catalog. Um, and I had to decoupage it because it was almost falling apart when I tried to cut it. So I made a tag out of that and then I'm um, just kind of tucked that beside, behind the little um, kittens. And then of course there's, um, again, lots of uh, room for writing. And then this just is a corner embellishment with some uh, sari silk and some trim and then that just says postcard. And then I found this really pretty um, scrapbooking paper and it matched the navy or royal blue theme. And then again, um, like I said, lots of coffee dyed um, paper for writing space. Um, just some sweet little embellishments up in the corner. And then I did do a little bit of brown or, or tan um, in here. And so this one is some scrapbooking paper that I found. And then I have some uh, really pretty trim that has the blues in it. So I did that. And then um, again, more coffee dyed paper. And then this right here is one of my bottle cap um, paper clips that I like to do and it has a lot of detail. It's got a lot of a lot of sparkly um, to it and then this is um, a brad that I made into kind of just a little decoration and then a, um, a vintage key and then I um, also made this tag um, here for journaling or um, what have you. Um, so that will just go there and of course the paper clip can be moved around um, the journal as always. And then um, this is, um, again, another embellishment. This is some real pretty scrapbooking paper that I found um, at Austin Creative Reuse. This is part of that wrapping paper that I also found. And um, just, I, it's not a pocket or anything. It is adhered down. And then just a little bit of, um, just a little bit of whimsical little rust colored um, scrapbooking paper. And then just a little butterfly embellishment with some lace. And then the middle of the signature. And then 
Uh, this is just a stamp that I have that I uh, put on some coffee dyed paper and distressed it. And it says, life is not about waiting for the storm to pass, but learning to dance in the rain. And that is so true. Um, and then this is the other side of that paper, obviously. And then um, I included a little clothes hanger um, uh, paper clip and then put some, just some scrapbooking note cards, um, that sort of thing on there that can just be journaled on. And then this is just one of the, uh, oh, sorry. This is just one of the Tim Holtz um, cards. And then of course I put some more of this um, real pretty scrapbooking paper there. And then the other side, of this, this is almost like a, a velvet or a flocking. I don't know, it's really pretty. Um, and then I made a pocket and then um, sewed that on and put a Prima card in there. And then this was from some scrapbooking paper that I also found at Austin Creative Reuse. And then I did a, a bookmark, uh, I mean a, a book page butterfly. And then um, the, made this one into a note card. Um, that I, I guess the theme of the scrapbooking paper was gasoline and cars. Um, so I, I just like the powdered blue color. So I went with that. And then of course, um, just a little paper clip. And then this is um, a book page um, snippet with a butterfly. Um, um, embellishment and then just a prima card that says let me create a world let me create a world for you and then I use um, I got these real old vintage um, postage stamps from um, a, a relative that was gifted to me and so I'm, I'm using those and then um, the other side of that paper with that trim so getting to the back here and then this is another one of those um, book page um, snippets and then this is actually some old um, pattern paper and it is decoupage so it's, it, it is very stiff. Now this is not a pocket, it's more or less like a tuck so you can just kind of tuck some things in there, um, some receipts or you know what have you and then the other side of that paper and then this is just a little um, embellishment and then this is uh, one of those real pretty brads that I have and then um, back the other side with some kind of like a little tab or, or that sort of thing. And then again, um, getting back to the back here, this is just some tan uh, ribbon, that, I mean a lace that I have, and then this is a wooden um, button. And then getting back to the back, just another little um, embellishment down in the corner. And then that's the back, and then of course there's another pocket back here. And then I included a little um, a little, you know, tablet notebook and that sort of thing. So, um, this will be listed here shortly and, um, I hope you're having a great Wednesday and I'm anxious to get started, um, on my next journal. Oh, and there is also a little bulb, um, uh, pen that with a little charm that just says made with love. Um, so again, uh, this will be listed here shortly and, uh, I thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of the week. Take care. Bye-bye.